Hi everyone, for today I'll be showing this DC Multiverse Batman. This is from Batman Dark Knight's Death Metal. Death Metal is a um, DC comic series that run around 2020 to 2021. Um, it's a dark multiverse in which Batman has the Black Lantern ring. Um, just a disclaimer, I have quit collecting two years ago, action figure collecting, but when I saw this Batman on the trench coat, man, I, get, I just gotta have this. So I bought this one and I'm showing this to you. So this is a collect to build or buff, build a figure. Um, so as you can see, it has extra uh, legs. This is for the Dark Father figure. So if you collect all four, um, figures you'll collect all the parts and you can build Dark Father <clears throat> so Dark Father um, Dark Father is a version of Batman that um, what if Batman became Dark Side and these are the other characters that you may choose to collect um, um, King Robin it's a twisted version of Robin Heavy Metal uh, Death Metal Superman, and then Death Metal, Wonder Woman. Just quickly show the box. The standard box by McFarland. Black, blue, and white. So yeah, I bought this in Toy Kingdom. And let's open this. Okay, this is the figure. This is the trading card that comes with the figure. It's glossy and a bit thick. It has a bit of um, description about the character. I hope you can see it. I don't think I have a good camera. I'm just using my phone. If this channel grows bigger, I'll definitely buy an HD camera. And this is the base. Now, let's remove the twisties. So now, this version comes with a guitar. So, there's an earlier version of Batman um death metal um it ha it comes with the sight this one comes with a guitar um but it's basically the same figure um with a bit of paint difference so this is the figure this is a seven incher figure um, as you can see, it has like a bridge cross. It's, it's a bit painted so that it can have a more rugged look, which I think works because as far as I know, the initial release of this one, the single pack, uh, not the collect to build figure like this one, it's clean cut. Now it's a, it has a beard, it, it has a bridge cross. Um, the face is painted nicely I really like this leather jacket it's actually plastic that looks like a leather jacket um, I'm really I'm, I'm glad that it's plastic actually because if it's like synthetic leather then you can expect it will eventually break down but look at the detail even the folds of the jacket are there right the spikes the gauntlets i just wish my camera does justice on this figure even the suit the folds on the suit it's there the metal chains with mini skulls 
to articulation, heel, knee, oh, and the legs, you can swivel them. That is, they included this because uh, we also have the bat cycle. So it's a motorcycle with big bat bones. I really hope I can find one and you can place him there. That's, that is, that's actually his motorcycle in the comics as well. It's crazy, right? But this is really nice. Even the boots, it has a bit of a treading. It's really nice. It's it's something that I really expect from McFarlane. Especially on what they did with the spawn line. Now it works for this um, heavy metal series. Really works well. This is the figure holding the guitar. Uh, the guitar is flexible, but it's a bit twisted. You know, I just wish they they included extra hands so that you you can have um like it's really holding a guitar, like a chord of a guitar and and this one. But yeah, I guess it works because of the bike. But extra hands would make this. Um, this great figure a much better figure if I may say and These are the guitar details if I haven't shown it So yeah, all in all it's a nice figure um, I think uh, I'll rate this as around a Grade A, this is really nice. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.